Hello friends, this is Kirat again from project unit of EESPL bringing a project entitled as a multi-floor car parking system. You might have seen other videos also for the same car parking but we have another type of a project that can be used for parking the cars that is the project idea or the demonstration or the prototype. So I will be explaining you the things between the video but for the demo purpose we have a lift that has three floors in it that is ground first and second each floor has a parking capacity of three cars for the demo purpose we have the entry sensor that senses the car incoming and if there is a parking space vacant it opens the gate and accordingly the lift moves if it has to go to first floor if it is on the ground floor the car is parked on the ground only and we also have a top floor that is the second floor for the VIP slot we are having few switches to enter the password for the VIP in case a VIP enters the password and password is accepted his or her car will be moved directly to the second floor and the number of cars in each floor is being displayed on the LCD as you can see and in case the parking capacity is reached to the maximum limit it will give a alert in case some car tries to enter so for the circuitry part we have the motor drivers we have the LCD and microcontroller a power supply unit a driver circuit, a buzzer, few micro switches, entry sensor, gear motor for opening the gates or the barrier, a stepper motor to move the lift, robotic lift up and down. So let me start demo of the same. So on passing a hand to the sensor as the car will be detected, it says that entry was detected. Right now ground floor is vacant, the door opened, now it will close. And you can see the car was moved to the first level or the ground level and the count has been increased to 1 and the lift doesn't move because the car was to be placed at the ground level only. So as the ground level also has the maximum limit of 3, it will allow 3 cars to pass at the ground level. So we will see the same. Again the second car passed and you can see the count has increased to 2. Now on passing the third it says entry detected. It opens the barrier, the car passes to the ground, it will close the barrier. Now the ground floor has reached its maximum capacity. Now if we pass our hand or any other car comes, it will be moved to the first floor. Let us see. Now it says entry detected. Instead of ground floor it says first floor is vacant. Barrier opened. Barrier closed. Lift moves to first floor. comes down to its initial position and the car was placed and the count is increased to 1. So let us place two more cars as the first floor also has the maximum capacity of 3. The barrier closes, lift move upwards to the first level, places the car, come back downward to initial and the count is increased to 2. Now the last car, entry was detected, first floor is vacant, barrier opens, barrier closes, lift will move to the first floor, will place the car, come back to its initial position. position. Now it has reached its maximum capacity, that is 3 plus 3 of 6 cars, uh, but the top floor or the second floor is still vacant. But in case some other car comes, it will say that parking is full because the normal users, the parking which was allotted to the normal users was full and uh, only the VIP slot parking is empty that is the second floor. Now to make the car move to the VIP slot, we need to press a particular switch and you can see the count is zero still. So we need to press a switch which will ask for the password in case the password is entered wrong it will give a audible alert and if the password is entered right that is 2525 we'll try and enter the password from these switches one to increment another to decrement first let us enter the wrong password let's 
says the password was rejected and come back to initial now let us try and enter the right password let us try again so we'll try and enter the password again until and unless the password is accepted that is 2 5 2 5 It says password is accepted. Second floor vacant. Barrier opens. Barrier will close. And now the lift will move to the second floor. As you can see, it moves to the second floor. We'll place the car. Come back to initial position. And you can see the count has increased to one. Now if we need to exit any car, we need to press these switches. We pressed first floor, the car moved to the first, will pick the car, the, the lift moved, it will pick the car and will place the car at the initial so that it can exit and you can see now the count has decreased to 2 and if we pass any another car, now it says the entry was detected and parking is not full. First floor was vacant as we exited one car. So this way this project can be really helpful in complete management of the cars at a multi-floor car parking. So hope you like this project. Have a nice day.